Hey guys, I'm about to pick up my Uber client. Let's get weird. Hi. All right. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, no, nothing. It's just... It's the... Okay. So from that, we're also going to add another keyframe. So from here, once it stops, like right there, I'm going to go to position, add a keyframe, go a couple of seconds in, click this, and drag it to the left. Um, yeah, there you go. Drag it to the left here. Not too far away, but kind of like that. Click done. So now if I push play, so it looks something like that. Now we're going to enable the Instagram logo again, and we're going to have to modify this because we're going to make this a lot smaller. And we're going to zoom in here. Okay, and I want to select this, make sure it's relatively the same size here. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit confusing, so please follow along. Uh, I'm going to go to the effects, and I'm going to go into masks. I'm going to go to draw mask and drag that onto the Instagram text logo. From here, what you want to do is we're, we're at this point, right? And it goes out like that. What I want to do is I want to add pretty much, I want to mask out the text so it goes out that way. So I'm going to click here, here, let's see here, if I hold down shift, and I'm going to go down like this, and you guys will know why I'm doing that. So I'm going to go here and here, so it kind of looks like uh, the sheep of Nevada. And then now you can see that we can do something like this. What I want to do is I want to align this against the Instagram, the right side of the Instagram logo, and here. So it's like that, so you can't really see it. Uh, from this point, what you want to do is you want to go to the transform or the control points, add a control point or a keyframe. I keep saying that. Open the transform and go to the position and add another control point or <laughs> add another keyframe. So once you have uh, two keyframes set in the control points and the position, we're going to, once this zooms out to the left, like that, go a couple of seconds longer than that. Then you can click in between these two points and drag it outwards like this, and then drag this one outwards like that. So go back to the draw mask, and once you have it positioned kind of like where the, in the middle of this is, so like if we go and we click off the, if we go back to the transform tool, I would move this Instagram text logo here, so it's like that, and I click done, this is going to bring back the mask, and I want to see this here. Okay, I'm going to go back to fit or 200% I guess and I want to move this up so we're gonna move this as you can see we're gonna move this well let's let's reset these points so right here once it stops around around there we're gonna to go to uh, back to the mask so we're gonna go and add another draw mask I think oh wait we don't we already have it selected Okay, and we're going to move this, the left two points, right here, okay? And then this one, we're gonna move over there like this. So you can't, it's there, but you can't see it because it's so small. Then what you wanna do is you wanna add the keyframe in the control points and the position. And then you wanna do is you wanna go, once this goes out, then you wanna click in between these two points. Whoops, make sure it's the other one. Okay, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna move this here, and I'm gonna click in between. Yeah, I'm gonna click on the line and move it to the left. Okay, and I'm gonna add the keyframes in position and control point, and I'm gonna move this over to the left. I mean, yeah, I guess that's fine. It's probably gonna turn out the same, but. There you go, perfect. So now you can see how that is being animated. So if I go back to fit and I push play, you can kind of see it, but it still looks pretty good, right? Cool, from this point, what I wanna do is I want to select both of those and create another compound clip. And I'm just name this Instagram. All right, cool, so once we're done with that, the next thing we need to do is add another text. So 
we're going to go to titles. My throat's drying up here. All right, so you want to go into um, basic title. So go to basic title here. And you want to drag that right above the Instagram logo. It doesn't really matter, honestly. And let's go ahead and double click on the text here and just give it a name. And then I'm going to go to the titles or the text and I'm gonna change the font color to black. I'm gonna to go to size and just make this bigger and change the baseline down, command enter. I can move this down, you can move that wherever you want. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Or on the right side. And then I'm going to do the same thing, command C and command V. Uh, she has 1,488 posts. She probably has more now, but I don't know. All right, now we have that going on. And now we got to add another draw mask. So go to the effects, go to masks, go to draw mask and drag one draw mask to each of the text. Okay. So now we're gonna work with the one on the left. So 1,488 1,488 posts. I'm gonna click here, or sorry, hold on shift and click across and then move this down. Give yourself enough area so that you don't have to um, click the text and uh, like so. Once, uh, once that is done, you can click in the empty area to pretty much move that. So once this is here, right, blah, 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 blah. Okay, right there is where I want it to animate. So what I'm gonna do is I can go something like this. I can go down, I can go left, I can do whatever I want. Uh, for this case, I'm gonna go up and then down just for the fun of it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to um, Video Inspector and go to the Draw Mask, go to the uh, Transforms and go to the Position. And you already have your keyframe added. So now we're gonna go a couple, well, a couple of seconds in and then I'm gonna drag this down, okay? So now if I push play, Looks something like that. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing to the one on the right. So I'll hold down shift like so. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and kind of follow the same thing. So right here, I want it to start. So right there, around there, I'm going to move this up so you can't see it, of course. Then go to the transform, go to position, add your keyframe, and then move it to the right until this one shows, and then move this down. There you go, perfect. Cool, so now we got that done. Now what we, we gotta do is add, or her actual name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, select this one, her username, and I'm gonna paste it right above it. And then I'm gonna click off the draw mask and drag this down. So it's around the middle here. Now, when you do move this, let me click back on the text. Where'd it go? Um, it's gonna be hidden because of the mask. Uh, so what I would do is go into the inspector and delete the draw mask. So now you can move this wherever you want. So I'm gonna move this here and I'm gonna type her actual name and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna animate this. So we're gonna add another draw mask even though we deleted it, but we're all good. And I don't know, let's just make sure everything shows here. Something like this. Okay. And I'm gonna do the name last, so right here. So I'm gonna move this down. I'm gonna go into the draw mask. I'm gonna go to transforms, position, and I'm gonna go a couple of seconds forward, and then I'm gonna move this up. So now it animates like this. Cool.